4,000 years ago, Europe's primeval forests are assaulted by another demand, more aggressive than ever before, and in remote areas so far untouched. Metal making. The smelting of copper and bronze soon spreads from the Balkans and Cyprus across much of Europe. But as early as 2000 BC, the flourishing metal industry on Cyprus collapses. It fails not because of the shortage of ore, but the lack of timber. Metal means wealth and power. Metal deposits scattered across the continent become the key incentive for conquest. And out of these struggles emerges Europe's mightiest superpower. 600 BC. The Roman Empire is on the march. Its aim is not just conquest, but the civilization of wild Europe. Conquer with sword and spade is the mission statement of the Roman army, making it the biggest road-building enterprise ever. All roads lead to Rome, the saying goes. But the opposite is true. All roads spread from Rome. As if capturing a wild animal, the empire cast a network of roads across the continent, from Italy to Britain and from Turkey to Spain. Via est vita, says the Roman proverb. The road is life. The constant flow of livestock, goods and ideas between the eternal city and the most distant corners of the empire would shape Europe's societies, landscapes and wildlife for thousands of years to come. Cattle and grain pour in toward the capital. Mediterranean animals and plants spread in the opposite direction, in what is one of the warmest periods in Europe's more recent history. Roman culture travels on muleback. The mule is a hybrid of donkey and horse, non-existent in wild nature. It is mass-bred by the Romans as an all-terrain, all-purpose carrier. Endless caravans transport olive oil, cheese, wine and weapons. And raw metals. <laughs> 